Hello friends. Today we shall discuss method of determining stone polishing value of aggregates. The stone aggregates used in the wearing course are continuously rubbed or polished by the tires of the vehicles. This rubbing action causes a smoothening of the surfaces of aggregate and in, it increases the chances of skidding of vehicles. And this happens due to reduction in the friction between aggregate surface and the tires. This polished stone value of aggregates is the measure of this polishing due to moving traffic. It is largely required for the aggregates used in the wearing course of a pavement. Now this test is conducted in two parts. In the first part, the aggregates are subject to an accelerated polishing action in a special machine and then in the second part, friction value of these polished aggregates is measured using a friction tester. And this value is expressed as polished on value or simply PSV. So for the first part, you need a machine, accelerated polishing machine. And this machine is like this. When you open the door of this machine, it looks like this. You have a road wheel here having a flat periphery and when 14 specimens are mounted on this wheel, it simulates the road. This is 45 millimeter wide and 405 millimeter diameter. Then you have a small rubber tire wheel here of 20 centimeter diameter and the width of the uh, periphery of this wheel is 5 centimeter and it has a loading mechanism here to apply a load of 40 kg on the stone surface. When they are in contact, then this, this wheel will create a load of 40 kg on the surface of the road. Then you have a motor which is inside this machine to rotate the road wheel about its own axis at a speed of 320 to 325 revolution per minute. Then you have an arrangement here to feed the silicon carbide or sand at the rate of 6 gram per minute and also the water at the rate of 50 to 75 milliliter per minute during the test. In the first part of the test here, we feed this sand or silicon carbide grit plus water and the second part of the test. Now here is another, another arrangement for feeding of emery powder. So in the second part of the test, we feed this emery powder and water. So it is fed through this mechanism here. So emery powder and water or the silicon carbide grit and water are fed at this point of contact here so that it abrades the surface of the sample. Metal molds and these metal molds are used to prepare the specimen. These molds should be accurate in size so that exactly 14 specimens fit on the wheel. That is the shape of the mold and that is the cover of the molds to give the shape to the final specimen. So a specimen can be prepared either using cement sand paste or it can be prepared using some bonding agent. IS2384 suggests use of cement sand paste whereas HTM D3319 suggests use of polyester resin and catalyzed having a port life of 20 to 30 minutes. Take aggregate sample of passing 10 millimeter and retain on 8 millimeter and these aggregates should be dust free and therefore wash them if necessary and then dry in an oven. Take the mold and oil its surface slowly. This oil can be any mobile oil and once you oil the surface of all molds then place the aggregates in mold one by one as closely as possible in a single layer. The flat surface of the aggregate should be down to cover the bottom surface of the mold. So you prepare the specimen like this. That is how you make the specimen 
and here six specimens are shown but total 14 specimens are to be prepared if you are making specimen with cement sand paste as as described in is2384 part 4 then take equal amount of cement and sand in the ratio of 1 is to 1 say you take 300 grams of cement and 300 grams of sand and add sufficient quantity of water to prepare a thick paste then spread this paste carefully on the surface of the aggregate in the mold place the paste carefully on the surface of the mold and do not tap the specimen otherwise the cement paste will go below the aggregate now place three to four pieces of reinforcement 1.2 millimeter wire which are laid along the longer dimension and just push these wires through the spatula and now make the surface smooth by putting some more paste here and using a flat edge of a knife or a scale make the surface smooth then you can use the cover also cover of the mold to give a perfect shape to the specimen do not tap the sample otherwise this cement slurry can go below the aggregates and these samples can be taken out from the mold yeah that is how you can just put the cover of the mold to give a shape and these samples can be taken out from the mold after 48 hours and then cured in water for 14 days to allow the cement to gain the strength and that is how these samples with cement sand paste will look like if you are using adhesive material as suggested in ASTM D3319 in place of cement sand paste then take the polyester resin and catalyzed resin having a port life of 20 to 30 minutes and curing time of 3 to 6 hours. The bonding agent should be quite viscous and should not flow completely around the aggregate particles and they should not become part of the surface of the test specimen. The procedure of preparing the specimen with adhesive material is the same as we discussed in the case of cement sand slurry. First oil the bottom surface of the mold, set the aggregate particles and then pour the adhesive agent to fill the mold. Now you prepare this adhesive agent in the ratio as specified by the manufacturer. Here we are taking 25 grams of polyester resin and 25 grams of catalyzed and then you pour it to fill the mold. When the bonding material has stiffened sufficiently strike off the excess material and make the surface even with the curved surface of the mold and these specimens can be demolded after hardening of the bonding material and the typical time is 5 hours. Now once you are ready with 14 specimen either using cement scent paste or using some adhesive material then these are to be fixed on the larger wheel of the machine. So take out the wheel of the machine carefully and place it on a surface, remove the upper ring and then place or fit these specimens one by one. Care should be taken to have the smooth surface and no gap between the specimen. There should be no gap here between two specimens. Once you fit all 14 specimens around this wheel, then you place the rubber rings, this is O type rubber ring, 
is used on each edge of the wheel to hold the specimen tightly. So you place this O type ring on the specimens and then cover it with the metal ring. Now this wheel is to be reversed and remove the upper ring, place the second ring now here, this is rubber ring and tightly close. Once it is done, then you fit the wheel back into the specific, into the machine and close the door. Now this is here. We feed the we feed the silicon carbide plus water between the between the road wheel and the pneumatic wheel. Close the door. Lose the release the weight here so that this wheel, the small wheel, applies a load of forty kg. Then rotate the machine at 320 revolution per minute and it is done for 3 hours. After that the machine is stopped, samples are thoroughly cleaned by washing to remove any sand or other particles of stone. The machine is again operated for another 3 hours with release of emery powder instead of sand and water. And after 3 hours, the machine is stopped and samples are taken out and cleaned. In the second part of the experiment, these polished samples are tested for their friction value using a friction tester. A pendulum type friction tester developed by RRL of UK is the most used tester. And this is the pendulum type friction tester. It has a vertical column here which is fixed to a base and then a pendulum which can swing about this hinge. At one arm of the pendulum, there is a hinge here to the vertical column and the second end has a spring loaded rubber slider, this one below this. The spring loading is such that a load of 2.25 kg is applied on the rubber slider when it moved over the specimen. A specimen is placed here and this pendulum can be rested on this horizontal arm and it can be released by pressing a button here. This button can be pressed to release the arm. Here is the plate with graduated scale along the arc indicating the skid number or PSV and these are from 0 to 150 here. This dead pointer is fixed at the hinge of the pendulum to indicate the position or height of the pendulum achieved during friction test. Rest the friction tester on a firm level. This pendulum should be in the air without touching the specimen and you release it from the horizontal position. In, the, in this position, this pendulum should go up to a zero position here. If it is, if it does not go up to zero position, then you slightly lose it from the hinge here. Now you place the specimen here and bring this pendulum to the horizontal position and then now release this pendulum from the height and you can read the PSV value here. This is 50. Now you sufficiently spray the water on the surface and also on the rubber slider and then again carry out this test under wet condition. Repeat the procedure to get the friction value under wet condition and now you can repeat this procedure with other specimen also to take the average of all values and report it as polished stone value of aggregates. What IRC and Ministry of Road Transport 
and highways specification suggest that PSV value for any aggregate to be used in wearing codes should not be less than 55. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can share the link with your friends also. If you have any question, you can write.